Hey everyone, a quick video here just to show you how to change your backgrounds, your blankets. So I have the image here. It's a pretty small image, but it's okay. We're going to work with it. Um, for those of you who already purchased my action, so you actually have an action somewhere here. This one, the background color change. So you're just going to click on it and you will get exactly the same action that I'm going to show you how to do anyway. And for those of you who does not have my actions, I'm going to just quickly teach you how to get the same results just on Photoshop. So you're going to go to layer, layer, new fill layer, and we're going to select the solid color there you go click ok and the default color would be this really nice pink actually I'm gonna click ok and I'm going to change here this is your blending mode I'm going to change it to color and there you have it clicking on your mask and with a black brush there you go black brush 100% opacity and I'm going to put my hardness around the middle I am just going to quickly mask off everywhere around the baby now there's a few other ways of doing this um, this whole action but I will go for this one at the moment because I like doing it like that the other way that might work and might not work because it doesn't work on all images it kind of depends on the color of your uh, image and uh, how the color is changing um, is just to use a hue saturation and again you will need to mask off from your subject but let's just say that you're using your hue saturation and it doesn't work um, yeah that would be because the colors just don't always go where we want to I know it doesn't sound very um, scientific kind of way but I don't know how to explain it better so just just take it that's it all right, so we have a rough selection, okay? I'm going to just change my color here to white. You just fix it a little bit more because I didn't do a very good job. I'm just being a little bit sloppy here. So I'm going to go a little bit better. I don't want to take too long because I just want to show you how to do the whole thing. All right, so roughly, let's just say I'm making a good selection here, and I'm gonna click on my backslash key, uh, which is above my enter, just to see my selection and to see that I have picked up all the details um, and everything is looking nice. Okay, looks okay, I think I selected most of it, so that's okay. Clicking again, going back to my um, original image. This is before and this is after. And when, when you click, oh, and you can also play with your opacity here if the color is too intense. But if you double click on this icon right there, it will open a new menu. And in this menu, you can just simply change the color. There you go. Say I want it purple, if I want a different shade, if I want it more blue, and so on and so on. You just play with it and find the color that you love most. Maybe something like that. And that's it. That is pretty much everything that we need to do. So, um, just a little, a, a little uh, 
tip here so if say that you want to do not show which colors you're going to go for just remember you can also just duplicate this layer double click again select a different color that you may like click OK and then you can just play with the colors and find what you love best and that's pretty much it yep I think it's pretty much covered it's a very easy process to do and I do it all the time it saves me tons of getting props and stuff and if I change my mind during the session in the middle after I can always just change my images and I just love having this option okay thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye